doing a quick tour today at the end of uh, February 8 degrees and uh, mostly I want to figure out how uh, the cameras uh, are holding up because I have uh, received uh, for my birthday a uh, new 360 camera from my son which I have uh, mounted on the left side in front of me and uh, I like to know how uh, the pole it is uh, mounted on is holding up I also have a camera on the back but that mount is uh, giving some difficulties the camera is uh, swapping uh, up and down quite easily so we need to figure out a solution for that one the weather is nice, it's dry which is uh, something because the last couple of weeks, well you can say the last couple of months it has uh, rained almost every day but now it's dry so that's nice And I'm driving right now in the surroundings of uh, Rotterdam in the direction of uh, Moordrecht and uh, Gouda which is about 20-30 uh, kilometers uh, from home and as you can see the landscape then is already quite beautiful also in the Netherlands we do have quite nice landscapes and a lot of water which is something uh, the Netherlands are famous of rivers, lakes everywhere and of course also a lot of speed bumps everywhere I can imagine people want to suppress uh, the speed of uh, the traffic uh, passing by but and on a motorbike you have the ability to uh, stand up a little bit then you have less difficulties with all the speed bumps but as you can see in front of me if you're driving a car then you're bumping up and down constantly here This is Moordrecht, a cute little town. I'm not allowed to uh, go straight forward because that's uh, the historic center of the town. I need to drive around it. And this is uh, the more historic part of the town but it's uh, very little nice church at the left let's check the back camera if it's already shifted down yes it is so that is not useful I need to find a solution for that then better to take it off yeah it's uh, it's not tight enough okay something to figure out Other bikers are waving at me enthusiastically. That's nice. That's something bikers do. Waving at each other. There is an old uh, history for that. Going back, I think, 100 years where it was necessary to uh, keep an eye on each other. But nowadays, and certainly in summer, if uh, lots of bikers are driving everywhere, then you can uh, keep waving constantly 
and I have to say honestly that I don't do that constantly depends also a little bit on how busy it is of course but bottom line it's a nice gesture and this is a nice part of the area a nice dike winding a little bit so on a more sporty bike then you can do that in a way high way larger uh, speed but I don't have the mood for that right now and now I am approaching Gouda a little bit larger town than Moordrecht uh, I can choose here well let's do uh, the bypass way around it instead of going through uh, the city itself yeah this is quite boring I knew that so I'm going to switch the cameras off and I can put it on a little bit further on And now I am doing the Lek Dijk. A very famous dike in the wide area here for the motorbikers. Because dikes do have the uh, ability to do a little bit more steering instead of uh, driving and ride on constantly. Dikes are being a little bit bendy, which is something motorbikers like to do most of the time. Driving bends. Now the thing is on this dike that in February, which is quite today, I'm allowed to do this. But in uh, April, 1st of April, and then the rest of the months in the summertime, the dike is closed only for motorbikers. Because a lot of people here that are living aside in all these houses get sick and tired of all the noise being created by bikers passing through. So there is some kind of an, uh, a lobby going on for a couple of uh, years already to close the dikes in the summertime for both the bikers. And I'm not completely sure if that counts also uh, for this one, if that's applicable here. Because uh, motorbike organizations are, uh, don't accept it, are protesting against it. And sometimes uh, the judge allowed them uh, that uh, it's not uh, allowed to close the dike, to keep it open for motorbikers. But in this time of the year, I'm allowed whatsoever to do this. And as you can see, this is way nicer to ride than doing the highways and uh, driving a one straight line ahead. This is way more fun. And indeed, there are a lot of motorbikers who are doing this on, this on a speed way higher than I am doing right now. But uh, I, in my opinion, then it's better to uh, book a day on the circuit 
because then you are allowed to do whatever you want. But speeding here with all these um, people uh, living nearby, well, I'm too old for that. He's a nice guy. He let me passing through. Uh, I'm not. Oh, I see on the Garmin that I'm allowed to do uh, 60 kilometers an hour here. And uh, that uh, car driver was uh, doing less, but he let me pass through. So really nice. Back on the dike again. Having a camera at the back of the bike that is flopping down is not very useful. I was filming only uh, the, the, the box, the top box and the body seat and nothing else is quite boring. You have seen that in uh, two seconds and then you're done with it. So I need to find a solution. And for that I drilled a hole in uh, the back of uh, the mount, in, in the head of the mount and uh, put a little screw in it to fix it completely and now I have something that is uh, tight not flopping down and now I can film everything I want 